The Leap Room 14 is purposefully made easy to repair and upgrade. By removing just a few screws, you can easily replace its parts. This is really nice if you already own hardware you'd like to put in your bare bones Leap Room 14 order, or if you'd like to upgrade or repair your current Leap Room 14. With the backplate, SSD, Wi-Fi card, and RAM removed, let's finish this disassembly by removing the screen and motherboard. This can really help if you need to replace a damaged chassis, screen, or main logic board. Pull up the tape around the BIOS battery and remove it. Disconnect the keyboard by pulling this tab up and removing the ribbon cable. To detach the keyboard backlight, push the black tabs towards the cable, then disconnect it. Like the keyboard, the trackpad connection can be removed by lifting up the black tab and pulling on the cable. Both speakers can be removed by pulling the connector straight back. The CPU fans use a similar connection. Disconnect them now. The main display is attached here. First, pull up the tape around the connector, then lift the black tab and remove the display cable. The Ethernet port is held down with two screws. Remove it and place it to the side. To remove the heat sinks, unscrew both fans, then turn each of the four heat sink screws a quarter turn in a crisscross pattern until the heat sink is freed. This pattern helps prevent stress from being applied too much to one side of the CPU or GPU. All that's left attaching the board to the chassis are these three screws. Remove them carefully and pull out the motherboard. The screen is attached to the chassis with a few screws. To remove the screen, open it part way and support it open so that the hinge is not under pressure. Unscrew the monitor on both sides and pull the screen free. Your Libra 14 is now fully disassembled. To put it all back together, realign the screen and screw it back down. Carefully replace the motherboard, making sure the board is not on top of any loose cables. With the board laying flat, screw it down with these three screws. If you have access to replacement thermal paste, now is the time to replace the compound and clean off the leftovers on the CPU. Carefully line up the heatsink and use the same crisscross pattern to secure the CPU. Make sure to use small turns and don't over tighten these. If you have a torque screwdriver, this is the perfect use case. Screw down the heat sink fans. Now you can start connecting your devices. Reattach the monitor display and flatten the tape. Connect the onboard BIOS battery. Reattach the speakers. Carefully insert and lock down the trackpad ribbon cable. Connect the keyboard backlight and keyboard. Plug in the CPU heat sink fans. Reattach the Ethernet port. 
From here, you can reconnect the SSD, RAM, Wi-Fi card, battery, then snap on the back plate. Order your own repairable Librem 14 at puri.sm.